Hello everyone, it's Wilson again. Today I'm gonna introduce you how to make a PN532 working on Bluetooth. The main modules we need are USB series board, Bluetooth series board, the pin, and the PN532. And about the battery, we'll use it later on. And now I'm gonna connect the 4 pin to the board firstly. Here we just take out one, two, three, four, two pan line to connect with the four pin. GCC means ground, VCC means the positive power supply, TX means transmitter, and the RXD means receiver. So I'm gonna connect the ground and the VCC firstly to make sure the power is no problem. One of another most important thing is that the connection between transmitter and the receiver is corresponding. It's easy to understand that the signal from PN532 board needs to be received by the receiver of the USB series board. Be careful when you do this, it may burn the chip if connection is wrong. Ok, in this step, just connect the phone with storage cable. Open m click connect button of the external device dialog. Then try to read the card with default key and it shows and read another sector, it shows again, which means it's fine. Step 3. Connect and configure the Bluetooth series board. The Bluetooth series board I'm using is HC06. It has an external board which can work on 3.6 voltage to 6 voltage. Now just connect these two things with two bound and have transmitter and the receiver wire reversed. Now connect this combination to your PC or laptop. The application I'm using is called Core Term. Select the new device after you plug in and choose OK. Send AT command will receive OK from the board and send AT plus name bt pn 532 now it will respond with OK send name. PN532 works on 115200 volt rate, so the Bluetooth needs to work in on get rate too. And the command is 80 plus volt 8. It just respond with the OK with the value we just need. And then we need to change the volt setting in quarter to 115200 and send 80 plus version to check it respond correct. Ok, it's fine. Now we can connect the Bluetooth board with PN532 board. Firstly, connect the VCC and ground first to make the power is no problem. Also, pay attention to the TXD and RXD. And about the battery, I've connected it on the other side of the board. Finally, we can do some testing on the phone. The LED of Bluetooth board will turn blinking to always on after connection success. Bluetooth is not fast enough for my offline cracking, but it's good enough for reading and writing. This is just the MyFay offline cracking tour. You can see it's working, even it's slow, but it's still working.
Also, mTOR's app supports the Bluetooth. You can connect and read the sector with Bluetooth and do some clone with Chinese magic card. It's very easy. So that's it. That's how to make PM532 working on Bluetooth. Recently, I'm working on extend board which can work well with the PM532 that I made. I'm trying to make it smaller and easier to carry on now. Hope to release it soon. Peace and see you in next video.